Hey guys, this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this nice and simple cinematic title animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and let's call it title and click on create and we have to do some basic settings so click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and set this frame rate 30 and set this playback frame rate 30 and click on save and now we have to import a video clip that we want to use as a background so go to media pool right click on that click on import media and in this case i'm using this night traffic video clip that i found on pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description so go to the link and download this footage and click on open and now if you want to change your project setting according to your video clip then click on change otherwise we have to click on this don't change and drag this clip on this timeline and now I want to create a 5 second long title animation so we need a 5 second long video clip so set the CTI on 5 second and add a cut over here so select this blade tool and add a cut like this and select this extra part and hit delete button and now let's convert this clip into a compound clip so right click on this and click on new compound clip and let's call it clip 1 and click on create and then go to your fusion tab and here we have media in and media out so just drag this media out to the side for now and let's deattach this and drag this media in to the viewer and set it like that and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it bz for background and hit ok and now we have to add a color corrector node with this background so select this background and click on this cc button and add a color corrector node and drag this color corrector to the viewer hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it color and hit ok and now select this color corrector node and go to this inspector window and set this gain value something around 0.75 hit enter set this hue negative 0 0.05 and hit enter all right and then go to menu and change this color to levels and set this midtone value 0.5 hit enter and change this channel rgb to blue and set the midtone of this blue channel to and hit enter all right so it's looking like this and then select this color and hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for directional blur select this directional blur and click on add button and hit f2 and let's call it blur and hit ok and drag this blur to the viewer and now go to this inspector window and set this blur length value 0 0.075 and hit enter and it's looking like this all right and now let's create a text so click on this t button and add a text node and drag this text to the viewer and let's type your first line so i'm tapping da vinci and change the font style so in this case i'm using go bold font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want and set it to regular and set the size of this font something around 0 0.18 and hit enter all right and now let's add a texture on this text so we have to import a texture file so go to media pool again and right click on that click on import media and select this concrete texture that i found on pixabay.com and i will provide a link in the description for this so go to the link and download this texture and click on open and drag this texture on this flow window hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it texture hit ok and now we have to take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow background point with this text and connect this green foreground point with this texture 
and drag this merge one to the viewer and i want to place this texture inside of this text so select this merge and change this operator over to n all right and as you can see it's looking like this and just select this merge one and set the texture like this and now we have to turn on grid snapping for better node arrangement so right click on this and go to arrange tool and check this option to grid and now select all these node hit ctrl c to copy and paste another copy over here by hitting ctrl v and select this second text hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it text to hit enter and select this merge hit f2 and let's call it merge 2 and i don't want to use multiple texture files so just delete this second texture and connect the output of this texture with this merge and now let's add a color corrector node with this texture so select this texture and click on this color corrector button and add a color corrector node with this and just set it like that and now select this color corrector node and let's do some adjustment with this so go to this inspector window and set this contrast 1.2 hit enter and set this gamma 0.6 and hit enter and as you can see it's looking much more better all right and drag this merge to to the viewer and change the second text so select this text node and type your second line so i'm typing the Z resolve and as you can see we have two outputs here first and this second and now let's merge the both outputs so take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this merge one and green foreground point with this merge two and drag this merge three to the viewer all right and now let's arrange the text so we have to turn on guide so right click on this go to guide and check this option so guide and now set the text according to this guide so hit control and I scroll up to zoom in and set it like that and select this text one and set it over here and select the second text and just drag it down and set it like this all right and now select this first merge and and just drag this texture and set it like this and select the second merge and set the texture like this and now let's animate the text so we have to add a transform node after this merge one so select this merge one and add a transform node hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it transform one hit enter and add another transform node after this merge two so select this merge two and click on this transform button hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it transform two hit enter all right and now go to the end of this animation and select this transform one and go to this inspector window and right click on center click on animate and select this second transform and right click on center click on animate and then go to very beginning of this animation and select this transform one and set this x center value 0 0.52 hit enter and select the second transform and go to this inspector window and set this x center value 0 0.48 and hit enter all right and now it's looking like this and now we have to add a final transform after this merge 3 so select this merge 3 and add another transform node and drag this transform to the viewer hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it scale hit ok and hit ctrl and scroll down to zoom out and select this scale node go to the end of this animation right click on size click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and set the size 1.07 hit enter and as you can see we have a scale animation on it all right and now close this media pool for now 
and now let's merge this with background so just set it like that and take a another merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow background point with the output of this blur and connect this green foreground point with the output of this scale and drag this merge for to the viewer and as you can see it's looking like this just set it over here and then select this merge for hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for blur node and select this blur hit add button and drag this blur to the viewer and go to on frame number 30 and right click on blur size click on animate and set this blur size 0 hit enter and go to very beginning of this animation and set this blur value 10 and hit enter so as you can see it's looking like this all right and finally we have to connect media out with the final output so connect this blur output with this media out and then go to your edit tab and as you can see we have a nice cinematic title animation and now let's do one more thing just go to timeline and go to output blanking and set this value 2.35 and now we have cinematic aspect ratio and it's ready for render so just set it like that go to very beginning of this animation click on loop button and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye